News minutes ago, the Wall Street Journal editorial board calling on President Trump to resign. The paper has been supportive of the president, but now says he should take personal responsibility and resign. In the midst of all the turmoil and chaos on Capitol Hill, the future of the California Republican Party at a crossroads. KPI x Kenny Choi spoke to leading Bay Area political analysts about that. Kenny? Alan, the conversations of how the GOP will be shaped in the coming months will be compelling. Ultimately, that vision will be determined by voters, but political analysts we spoke to today say they have a pretty good idea of what's to come. The images and sounds that echoed from Capitol Hill are indelible. Winning elections from here on out, you know, I definitely think that what happened yesterday complicates this. The Republican Party, in a lot of ways, is is going to undergo a series of changes. Some political analysts say what unfolded on the steps and inside the chambers of Congress could impact the future narrative for the GOP in California. Any Republican in the Bay Area has no choice but has to dissociate himself, themselves from at least Trump's actions. Uh, if not the whole Trump legacy. The Republican Party is going to have to, to shift back to articulating more of a vision that's based on what it wants to do and what it can do versus an individual person. The middle class does not want instability. They don't want an authoritarian government. They don't want uh, things that are going to undermine business conditions. And in November, more than 6 million Californians voted for Trump. Matt Shoup is chair of the Contra Costa Republican Party. That we need to start presenting voters with something to vote for rather than something to vote against. It's a governing vision premised on accountability, on responsibility, on trying to do better for the taxpayers. I think that kind of vision for the Republican Party could be effective in California again, but they're going to have to, Republicans are going to have to spend time and effort articulating it. But when you violate the rule of law and the norms of democracy, you're going to lose a lot of people in suburban areas. So, Kenny, those are some of the potential negatives for the GOP. How about some of the positive things for the party? So, Alan, no one knows the extent of the impact uh, yesterday's events will have on the GOP. But California Republicans we spoke to today are quick to point to the ongoing recall effort against Gavin Newsom. They say that that's one sign that the Republican voice in California still matters and that it's still growing. Alan? And being heard. All right. Kenny Choi, thank you.